Hey guys, Dendrite here, and today we are going to be looking at a web scraping tool called WebHarvey. This is a visual web scraping tool, so you don't have to know how to code to use it. I've been using it to gather a lot of different data for myself lately, specifically for my job board. I'm going to show you how to configure it and get it running here. With this tool, you only have to pay a one-off fee for a single license on a specific computer. There are no other costs associated with the tool itself, but I do pay a monthly fee to scrape using private proxies. If you're scraping any kind of data, I would highly recommend that you pay for private proxies yourself. Otherwise, you risk your IP getting blocked by Google or whatever search engine you're using. So the way Web Harvey works is it has an inbuilt browser which you're going to use to search for the content that you want to scrape. I'm going to seek.com.au here and I'm just going to show you how to scrape some job data as a specific example. Before we begin scraping anything, we are going to need to configure Web Harvey with the actual parameters for the information we want to mine. Now to do this, the first thing you have to do is click on the little red spanner looking icon in the top left hand corner, and this will enter you into the configuration mode for Web Harvey. Now what you're going to do is say capture this text, and you're going to repeat this for all fields that you want to scrape. What you're essentially doing here is telling Web Harvey, I want to capture all data within these fields across this entire page. Now, if you want to follow links and scrape data on a following page, that's very easy to do. You would just select that link within your Web Harvey browser, and instead of clicking on capture text, you want to click on follow this link instead. From here, it's a very similar process to before. You're just going into the sub page and clicking on all the different fields you want to capture, as well as naming them. You don't have to do this for every single page that you want to scrape. You only have to do it for every single type of page that you want to scrape. So in my case here, because I'm going through and scraping a bunch of different job postings, I'm not going to go into every single job post and click on all of the fields. I'm only going to do it once for one job posting, and then Web Harvey is going to go and scrape all of the job data that it can find that is similar on that page. Once you've got all the different fields that you'd like to scrape, you can click on the little stop icon to exit the configuration mode, and now we're actually ready to start mining data. So click on the little icon that says start mine. I'm going to speed it up here for the sake of time, but as you can see, we're going along and Web Harvey is picking up and scraping all of the different job data from the fields that we specified when we were in the configuration mode. Now that our scrape is complete, we have the option to either export it as a database or as a file. I usually prefer to export it as a CSV or an Excel workbook, so I'm going to specify a file name as well as a save path here, and I'm going to select the override option. And now that we've clicked save, all of our scrape data is saved as an Excel file. I'm going to show you a different example here now. I'm on Black Hills Information Security's blog portion of their website, and if uh, John Strand is seeing this, sorry. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and scrape some data from this blog. So uh, like we did before, I'm gonna specify the blog title, and I'm gonna scroll down and specify the blog content. And just like we did before, I am going to start our scraping session and Web Harvey is gonna go through and grab all of this data from this web page. Just like we did before, I am going to save our scrape data to a file. And that is the end of the video, guys. That's how easy it is to scrape data with this no-code web scraping tool, Web Harvey. I'm not affiliated with these guys at all, I just thought it was a really cool tool, I really enjoy using it so I thought I'd share it. Um, if you want any more tutorials like this on web scraping or similar, let me know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next one.